is the very guy you're trying to impress. Yes. I've been smiling and sweet and thoroughly beaten, blowing my chance. Let's not chase him away. Let's face him and say, hey, come, let's dance. This chip on my shoulder makes me smarter and bolder. No more whining, more blazing. I agree. Latimer wasn't stalking. He was clearly within his rights to ask for visitation. Russell versus Sullivan. Yes, but Russell was known to the mother. Latimer was an anonymous donor. Well, yeah, but without Mr. Latimer's sperm, the child in question wouldn't exist. Now you're thinking like a lawyer. Yes, Miss Woods. Mr. Huntington makes an excellent point, but did the defendant keep a log of every sperm emission made throughout his life? Interesting. Why do you ask? Well, unless the defendant attempted to contact every sexual encounter to see if the child resulted from those unions, he has no parental claim over this child whatsoever. Why now? Why this sperm? I see your point. And, by Mr. Huntington's standard, all masturbatory emissions where the sperm was clearly not seeking an egg could be called reckless abandonment. Ms. Woods, you just won your case.